<laughs> All right. Any questions? Any questions? <laughs> uh, um, it's my statement. Yeah. All right. Um, yeah. No. This the it was a character win. No question. Um, in the rain. Uh, Offense really couldn't find our, our, our rhythm at all. Um, not into that last drive, had to go 92 yards. Um, uh, defensively, you know, we had struggled with the run. They just did a great job of getting first down. At the first down, they ran really hard. I'm talking about uh, uh, Charleston Southern University. Um, did a really nice job of holding the ball, keeping to their game plan, you know, winning the field. Uh, game of field position. I, I don't know where they got that punter from. I mean, <laughs> a 72-yard bomb, a couple of them flipped the field completely, and that changed the momentum of the game. And um, in, a, in a game like that, a team that makes the least amount of mistakes, um, protects the football, and runs the ball well, will, will win the game. Um, but it really spoke to our resilience. Uh, we talk about it. Uh, we had an opportunity last week to, in the same situation, in two minutes, to go down and drive to either tie the game or go ahead against Tennessee Tech. And we know the outcome of that. And I, I knew that at some point during the season that we were going to be in this position again. I didn't know it was going to be this week. Um, and we were able to answer the call. Um, so with that said, I mean, you know, you, you, you look – for games like this in conference games um, that are tough, that are gritty, that you have to grind it out. And that's where growth happens. And like I told the team last week after the loss against Tennessee Tech, we still got better through the loss. Um, we just lost on the scoreboard. We ran out of time. And I think we were able to show that um, uh, this past, uh, this, during this game was just our resilience. We didn't execute well in certain areas. We turned the ball over when we shouldn't have. We shouldn't have put the ball out. Um, so we still got a lot to work on. Um, but I'm glad to get the victory. Um, it was big for us. What did it feel like uh, before that you sent them out on that last drive, 92 yards to go? Was the confidence, what was the confidence level compared to where it might have been earlier? Oh, man. I mean, it was like another opportunity. I mean, we had to go 92. We hadn't – I think we had like four or five straight three and outs. And the defense was getting tired. They were leaning on us. That run game was just one hammer after the other. And – you know, we, we found a way to get the turnover. And that kind of sparked some type of energy. Once we found out, okay, we got two minutes to go, let's put a drive together and let's get that first first down, you know, our confidence started to grow. We started to believe. We started to see it. We didn't play well up until that point, but all that was water under the bridge. We have a chance to win this thing. And the thing that I love the most is when our team came together, I think right around midfield, when the defense came off, got off the bench, and they got behind the offense, they were cheering each other on. And that's when I kind of felt like, okay, we're going to go down here and, and, and score some way, somehow, and find a way to win this game. I think Braylon had 65 yards passing before the last drive. Uh, you didn't lose confidence in the passing game. Of course, you had to rely on it still at that point. Yeah. What did you think would change? Um, you had to keep throwing it. You had to keep – you had to keep throwing uh, to the open guy. You know, Travis has to get us in the right calls. Um, you know, I, I felt like there were times, we, I mean, we were able to still run it as well, too. We saw that toward the tail end when Gant, um, we just kept calling his number. Because one way or another, we want to try to grind it out, grind, grind some clock out, and, uh, you know, hopefully score or kick a field goal with no time on the clock. Um, but, uh, no, just, just Draylon's uh, – persistence and his resilience, um, you know, he looked me in the eye and said, hey, you know, I'm going to go ahead and we're going to get the score, you know, uh, after not playing extremely well. So that was, uh, that was encouraging to see. Uh, you mentioned Gant. Uh, noticed you changed starters, didn't use Gant until the end of the first half. Do you think you got, your, got his attention? Was that a, an attempt to get his attention? No, it wasn't to get his attention. I think we wanted to start fast. Um, we look at the production. Uh, CJ um, has more yards. His yards per carry is, uh, is higher. Um, he's, CJ is, a little, is, is more sudden, it seems like, you know, hitting the hole and what we want to get in terms of the explosive. Um, and Gant, you know, took it on the chin and understood this is a, this is a team football 
and we talk about having nine units strong. Um, and uh, he knew his time was going to come, and he and he and he showed and proved in the tail end of that. I mean, that was a, some big runs he he uh, was ripping off, and for the most part, they they stifled our run game uh, for three three and a half quarters uh, up until that until that that, that fourth that uh, fourth quarter drive. So. Um, yeah, my hat goes off to him, man. He he really put it his his, uh, his foot in the dirt and got north and south. Did you, was he supposed to score a touchdown there, or was he supposed to get you in field goal position? <laughs> well, score. <laughs> I mean, hey, at that point, I'll take it any way possible. I mean, I never want to rely on the kicker. You know, um, I, I was a little concerned because we did score with uh, with time on the clock, and um, I was like, okay. Here we go, <laughs> and of course the end was, it was what it was, and uh, they tried to hook and lateral, and they tried to throw it across the field, and a man almost, almost got down in there, and uh, luckily we were, we were we were able to uh, recover the fumble, and it was the game was over. Wouldn't call it a must win, but it was a big one. It was a big one for us. It was a big one for a lot of reasons that we were able to win a game like this, um, in the rain, not playing our best ball. Um, I go back to um, the last five last opponents that we played in the OVC were all games that we started off slow. We grinded back, starting with Charleston Southern last year. You know, we're down 21-7 on the road, and we battled back uh, 21-21, almost the same situations this time, you know. And we ran the football versus through, throwing it, and – you know, it, it was a two-score game. I mean, it was a they won by two touchdowns with three minutes to go in that game last year, and then the following week it was uh, Eastern Illinois, and then Tennessee Tech blew us out, and then last week it was Tennessee Tech. So it was like, okay, we're finding ourselves in these games. At some point, we've got to break through. We've got to find a way to win it. I don't know how it's going to happen, when it's going to happen, what's the circumstances, but we're going to have to dig a little bit deeper. And within ourselves, and find a way to win it. Muster up that energy and enthusiasm to do it, and I think the guys did that. How hard is it? You probably play a lot of these rain games. How hard is it to adjust on the fly when you're kind of like trying to figure out the passing game, the running game? Um, yeah, you gotta you gotta go with your gut, and I mean, you know, you gotta um, just rely on the game plan. Um, you got to take some things out that you may have worked on during the course of the week and understand that, hey, we can't stretch the field like we want to or we can't run certain plays. We got to, you know, simplify things and really establish and win the line of scrimmage. And we didn't do a good job of that earlier on. Um, there were spurt, spurts of it, but we got out of rhythm. Um, every time I felt like, you know, there was an incomplete pass, that's a win for the defense. You, you throw foul balls like that, 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 that hurts, you know, especially when you're trying to find confidence offensively. Um, so, you know, I think as a staff, you know, we'll have to talk about our philosophy a little bit more, tweak that, um, and, uh, and get better. Um, you know, now's the time we, we shoot. We won the month of September, you know, we're three and two, and that's, that was a goal. So now we got to go in October. And we're on the road next week in another tough environment. I think Linda Wood won today against Eastern Illinois, which is a tough place to play. So they're riding high. And now we're in the thick of things in terms of conference play. Um, so we got to be able to have an identity and stick to that identity and work on that um, and very well during the course of the week and, 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 and in practice. You mentioned the rain, uh, or Nick mentioned the rain. Does, uh, did they have? Did they give them an advantage because they run the triple option? They can move the ball without throwing the ball. I would say so. <laughs> <laughs> I would say they did. This definitely played into their favor. Oh, without question, because you know their offensive line, their backs were heavy. They they broke a lot of tackles. Our guys were there to make the tackle, but they were moving downfield. They were moving after yards after contact. And that becomes worrisome for, for me as a coach. I've, I've been there. I mean, I used to play like that. And you could take somebody's soul like that. And, you know, they outrushed us. They had uh, one in time of possession. Uh, we've had, we had more penalties. I mean, they, they outplayed us for the most part in a game like that. And we were fortunate enough to, to find and make enough plays. And our defense made enough plays 
um, to find a way to win it in the end. It was resilience that won this. It wasn't execution. It wasn't our offensive play calling. It was all grit. It was resilience. It was grind. And we were fortunate. We, were, we had some favor on us today. So I've got to thank God for that. Oh, first, man. gets a fumble recovery. Yeah. We don't talk about the assistant coach, but what's Coach McNutt done with him? Oh, I mean, I believe that he's developed Boogie since as a freshman. When Boogie first got here, he was making plays like that. But he had to mature and be developed and get his eyes right, you know, so to speak. He had to learn what he's looking at. It's tough for a freshman. So I think three years under McNutt, you know, um, we we're starting to see the game. He's, he's seeing the game slow down. He's anticipating, he's a student of the game, and he, he has, he's starting to master, you know, um, getting the ball out, uh, stripping the ball, punching the ball out, uh, almost had that pick six. Um, so that's a testament to the work that he puts in um, in film study, and um, he's just phenomenal. He's grown so much, and he's an integral part of what we do defensively. It's good? All right, I'll see you guys later. Good job. Congratulations. Uh, thank you.